So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up, well basically copy the uh, hero icons from the campaign that Blizzard uses and also how you can just fiddle around with all their other custom stuff and tailor it to, for your own use. So we're going to want to start in the triggers and the first thing we'll need to do is go up to view and show libraries this is where you can find all uh, Blizzard's crazy custom actions and whatnot so you can you'll be able to copy them down and edit them for your own use the one we are looking for is called mission hero UI Here it is. Go ahead and copy that. Alright, so you'll see it's got a whole bunch of stuff. But we're actually only going to be changing a few small things. Uh, first, let's see is the set hero panel unit. This is the main thing that we're going to put in our init trigger that will bring it up. So I'm just going to change the name so it's easier to find. I saw in a previous tutorial maybe by 12SC or maybe one of the other guys where they'll always put a plus sign at the start of their custom actions which makes them easier to find. And I think that's a good idea. So we're just going to go and do this High Templar guy here. So uh, we're going to add this, which is basically just a name. And I haven't gone and looked into all the complexities of what all it's doing, but this I just follow along with it. So next, the main two will be changing are uh, this one, the void hero type from unit type. So this is all the uh, heroes that Blizzard has already programmed to make this work with. So we're going to be adding our own. So we're going to copy paste this. Change that to the High Templar. And that's the preset we just made down below. Then uh, this is where we'll pick the uh, icon that shows up for that hero. This P void hero icon. Again, the High Templar. I'll probably just use the basic High Templar. button no why is not Let's see and uh, oh that's why it's a regular dash so this would be unit dash protoss dash high templar So this will be the icon that shows up on the hero bar. Then so that's most of the work right there. It's not too hard to do. We'll just go ahead and add that new action to the beginning so that it'll actually show up. 
and um, currently if you look at everything in here it only supports two of these special hero icons so you'll set it to one for your first hero and two for your second and then uh, if you wanted more you'd probably have to dig around more and add some more extra stuff which I haven't looked too much into it as I've never really wanted to add three plus heroes and I think it's pretty much everything to show you so yeah there's lots of other cool actions all in here you can mess with them make some cool stuff happen and enjoy. also you should set this uh, <laughs> to your hero unit just FYI <laughs>